So uh, you may be saying to yourself, whoa, well, eighteen hundred dollars or thirty-five hundred dollars. That's you know that seems like a lot of money for electromagnetic healing. I, I've heard of tens devices. I mean, I can buy a tens device for a hundred dollars, right? So what's the difference, and, and is there a difference, and, and does it make a difference? So t a tens device, which is very common for use for pain relief, is a much higher energy level. And what it does is it blocks the nerve function. So it's kind of, in a way, like taking a, a pharmaceutical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, like you know, aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol, or, or, or a steroid. Uh, that Yeah, it takes away symptoms, but the problem is it's suppressing your body's healing process. It's suppressing body functions, it's blocking function, it's not stimulating healing, it's actually inhibiting your healing. The beauty of microcurrent, it's much, much lower level of energy, and it's stimulating. It's actually, your body's response to the microcurrent is to increase healing, to increase function. So while both can relieve pain, and again, like aspirin can relieve pain, well, the studies on aspirin show if you take aspirin and it relieves pain, it also makes the pain come back again later because it didn't allow your body to complete the healing process. There's studies on headaches with aspirin that show that. So with microcurrent, the beauty is it's actually speeding up healing. Again, this comes from uh, decades ago when, when the Russians developed microcurrent devices for use with the cosmonauts. And where we first started seeing them in the West, was at the Olympics. The Russians would get out their little pocket doctor and they'd do something, and that injured athlete who we expected, oh good, they'll be out of the running for three, four days. It's like they're back doing gymnastics the next day, and it's that, that little thing that they're using. That's why you want it. TENS has a much higher current. Oh. It's a current level that actually blocks the nerve from functioning. So it stops pain, but it also stops nerve function and stops healing. So that's why you don't want to use the, the, the cheap devices. This is actually a healing tool that qualifies for, you know, if you're on a space flight to, to Mars, you want this, not a TENS device. If you're on a space flight here on Earth as a human developing your spirit, you want to use a non-suppressive type of medicine, medicine that supports and stimulates healing rather than blocking function for your comfort, temporary comfort. Because in the long run, the temporary comfort of steroids and, and NSAIDs causes kidney failure and uh, you know causes 30,000 deaths a year and it's 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 not not for healing not for healing